In a significant shakeup within the Nigerian diaspora community, over 150 members of the Nigerians and Diaspora Organization Europe have announced the dissolution of the leadership of the Central Executive Committee led by Bashiru Obasikola. With more than 95% of attendees voting in favor, a vote of no confidence was passed on both the Central Executive Council and the Electoral Committee. Both were dissolved over long-standing concerns over alleged mismanagement, constitutional breaches, and financial accountability lapses. Following the dissolution, the General Assembly unanimously appointed a seven-member caretaker committee with the responsibility to oversee the operations of NIDO and conduct a transparent election within 12 months. However, in a swift reaction, the legal advisor of NIDO, Yosola Atwaye, declared the EGM and its outcome as inconsequential with no legal effects. Leader of the CEC, uh, Bashir Obasikola, also accused the conveners of plotting to hijack the association, adding that the CEC remains intact under his leadership. And from all this development, I'm joined by a member of the uh, Nigeria Diaspora Community in Europe, uh, Project and Media Committee, Peter Omoragbo. So, Omoragbo, thank you for joining us on the program this evening. Let's um, get some context to uh, this development. We understand that um, at your most recent EGM uh, that took place last Saturday, uh, members passed a vote of no confidence, uh, both on your Central Executive Council and your Electoral Committee, uh, charged with conducting this year's elections in Greece, and also to resolve um, the to dissolve rather the two councils with immediate effect uh, there's also however the hearing we're hearing that the dissolved esco has not accepted their sack and there's a back and forth with these what's really happening and wh what's the legal basis for the egm Let me just do a brief background as to what has led to where we are within the Nigerian uh, organization in uh, Europe. Uh, first, NIDO is a conglomerate of 23 chapters made up of the 23 countries in Europe, UK being one of them. Now, every two years, elections are held into the Central Executive Council of NIDO. Each chapter is allowed to rep nominees to contest for any position within the CEC. Now, this year's election, five members of NIDO UK South indicated interest to contest election into the CEC. Now, the leadership of NIDO UK South, in collusion with members of the old executive, people who have held positions in NIDO, conspired to favor one candidate, known as one honorable Chibuzo. Now, we in NIDO UK South felt as much as the leadership have their right to choose who they want, members have their right to also exercise their franchise to decide who represents us in middle Europe. And they were requested for a primary for all the five candidates. But the executive of Nido UK South refused. He said they imposed Chibuzo and another candidate of Musa on us from Nido Europe. Now, the other three candidates were unceremoniously expelled from Nido UK South by the leadership. Now, there was a protest of the Nido Central. Now, Nido Central met because the administrative organ of Nido Europe is the AGM, which is the, 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 the highest decision making body, the BOT, made up of all the chapter chairs, and then the Central Executive Committee. They all met without the AGM, and they now asked Nido Euro, UK South to go and conduct primaries for the five candidates and bring two members for Nido Executive in the Nido, uh, Nido UK South, but they refused twice. And now Article 69.1 of Nido Europe Constitution made it very clear that it's either the chapter or the BOT, the Board of Trustees, that can it does. Seeing that the Nido UK South was already to obey the Constitution of Nido Europe, the BOT met two weeks ago and then conducted primaries for the five candidates and two of them were have been elected within the Nido UK South. All right. Now, the group that mm -hmm. supported the Chibuzo group, they are the group that constitutes the illegal EGM. What they did when they saw that, yes, there was no way they could promote the candidate, then they now went, they requested 
or an EGM, which is all right by the Company Act of 2026, 2006 in the UK Company Act. But that Company Act is not absolute. The condition for which you can requisite an EGM is, pre is predicated on the Constitution of the Euro, Article 56.2, which is very clear that for any EGM to be called, even as a constitution, it has to be at the approval of the CEC at the time and place that is convenient. Now, when they wrote, the CEC wrote back to them and said, we are having an AGM a few days from now. If we are to call an AGM, it will right. be two days for the AGM. In any case, they refuse. I what hear you clearly, Mr. Omoragbo. Allow me to jump yes. in quickly because it sounds so complex and complicated and at best it is what, what you say against what they say, right? But what relationship yes. exists between NIDO and the Nigerian Diaspora Commission here in Nigeria? Uh, what do you consider the way forward if you can do that in just a minute? You mean the relationship between the NIDCOM and the Nigeria the Diaspora? Exactly. No, the relationship is, is still very cordial. The NIT, NITCOM recognizes the existence of a legal body headed by Dr. Bashi, uh, uh, Bashikola. Does NIDO, does NIDO our... answer to NITCOM? Sorry? Does your organization, NIDO Europe, does it answer to NITCOM? Yes. No, we've no answer to NITCOM. We are independent. Oh, we, wow. are, we, we work, we are not independent. We, we work with the Nigerian government just to support overland development. So NIDCOM does not control the affairs of NIDO Europe. We are an independent body. So now, what do you, what do you consider the way forward? Forward. If you can do that in like 30 seconds, we have to go now. What do you consider the yeah, way fine. forward here? Okay, fine. Now, this, the issue is this. The, the Christianists that are the EGM, the EGM was illegal because number one, if they are relying on the Company Act 2024-2006, the Company Act in, at uh, Section 3032 made it very clear that before you can requisite, you must be of financial standing. All, right. All the members that requested for it, they are not in good financial standing because they are mm. not members, they have not paid their dues within the last two years. All right. Two, Article 56.2 made it clear that if you requisite, it is the Board of Trustees and the CEC that must give approval. All right. If this is lucky, at the, the uh, section 306 of the Company Act now gives the recreation the power to go to court mm. to compare the CEC. So All the right. recreationists do not have the absolute power to call an EGM. All right. To All call right. an EGM, it is a court that must compel okay. the CEC to do it. But what they have done is illegal. And so anybody dealing with them in mm. Nigeria, outside of Nigeria, is at their own risk. Because good, one, come good place. of uh, this month, good place to we live are it. in our EGM. Mr. Omorogwa. Good place to leave it. Yes. We're also going to make attempt to hear from the other side um, just to get a balanced opinion on this story. Um, Peter Omarogbao is a member of NITCO Europe Project and Media Committee. Thank you for talking to us on the news tonight. Okay, thank you very much. I think it would be fair if we can have both parties, if you can have...